Hello and welcome to Good Life, the health show with me, Pooja. Well, this is a show that focuses on providing you with solutions to your health-related issues, lifestyle and much more. Well, viewers, the birth of a baby can start a variety of powerful emotions from excitement and joy to fear and anxiety. But it can also result in something you might not expect, depression. Yes, most new moms experience postpartum baby blues after childbirth, which commonly include mood swings, crying spells, anxiety and difficulty in sleeping. But some new moms experience a more severe, long-lasting form of depression known as postpartum depression. So, to discuss on this, we are being joined today by Dr. Midusmita Yog, psychologist and psychotherapist. So, not to waste any more time, I'll straight away move to her and talk more on the topic which we have taken today. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Midusmita, for joining to Good Life, thank the you, health Pusha. show. So, we will be talking on postpartum depression. But first of all, the word depression, the term depression. What do you think? What is the term exactly? Are people using depression oftenly these days with any kind of situation mm. they are facing in mm. their day-to-day -day activity? Mm. So, what do you have to say at first? Mm. Actually, depression is a clinical term. Okay. It exists with uh, uh, multiple issues, multiple issues like I would say persistent low mood, uh, irritability, loss of appetite, sleep issues and so on. Uh, but these days we have seen the pattern among uh, uh, people that they are using the terminology depression in such a casual mm. manner, okay. uh, but it is not like that. Hmm. So, when we say depression, the person has to be uh, particularly under that condition for minimum of two weeks. Prior to that, we cannot term uh, it as depression. So, it might be mood swings, mm -hmm. uh, what people are nowadays using uh, depression as uh, mm -hmm. to define that they are the state they are in. So, it might be mood swings, it might be low mood for Whatever uh, the situation comes yeah. near them, so they think that it is a depression, yes. but that might not be the Yes, job it's to a temporary phase. So, for mm. one or two days, they might be into that uh, particular phase and on the third day, uh, it goes away. Okay. So, that cannot be termed as depression. It mm. might be low mood, uh, mood swings or uh, temporary sadness. Mm -hmm. So, that's what it is. But uh, in um, uh, clinical term, depression is a clinical uh, uh, terminology which uh, actually exist with low mood uh, okay. uh, persistently uh, for minimum mm. of two weeks, then irritation, then uh, loss of appetite, loss mm. of uh, uh, fatigueness, mm. uh, diabetes fatigueness and loss of, uh, I would say, I mean, uh, the interest in their mm. uh, activities that they are doing for uh, years, you know. Feeling tired yeah, anytime. Yeah, yeah, okay. all the time mm -hmm. they are feeling Not tired. Not in a mood to do anything yes, which yes. they used to do it uh, happily. Yes, happily. Mm. So, these kind of uh, symptoms are there and uh, these symptoms has to be there for minimum of two weeks. Okay. So, uh, only then we can term this as depression. Okay, okay. Now, the topic which we have taken today is postpartum depression yeah. and viewers, our numbers are flashed on your television screens. So, if you have any question regarding the topic, please call up and ask a question. Now, doctor, talking about postpartum depression, now what is postpartum depression? Mm -hmm. Uh, postpartum depression is actually comes under a uh, depression uh, the newly pre pregnant ladies uh, after giving delivery they uh, might slip into postpartum depression and there are a number of uh, factors that are responsible for this hmm. uh, I would say uh, the newly mothers hmm. uh, who uh, were uh, who have actually experienced uh, the motherhood for the first time. Mm -hmm. So, there might be uh, uh, baby blues. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, they might be confused about how they will handle this period of motherhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are uh, also the factors responsible uh, for this, uh, like the support from the family, support mm -hmm. from the husband. Okay. And uh, genes and family support, of course, uh, if there is a history in the family, so uh, the uh, possibility uh, is on uh, the higher side that the person might sleep into depression, but mm -hmm. uh, usually this condition of postpartum mm. is uh, uh, immediately, uh, it sleeps uh, for two to three three weeks. Okay, so this uh, is the time frame which yeah, we are talking about yeah. and depends on the patients or depends on the person as well, yes, isn't yes, it? Yes. Alright, doctor, if a person is uh, going through a 
postpartum depression. So mm. what would be the symptoms that mm. people will understand or something wrong is with this person? Yes. So one has to take care of her. Yes, like I mentioned uh, in depression. Mm -hmm. So in postpartum depression also, uh, though it's quite different, but some of the uh, existing conditions are there like mm -hmm. uh, low mood, irritability, anxiety. Mm -hmm. And uh, here the mother particularly uh, feels detachment from the child. Okay. Uh, she don't uh, feel that kind of connection with the child. And yes, there will will be a constant thought of suicidal ideation. She might okay. also feel uh, that she, uh, there will be a feeling to harm herself at the same time to harm the kid. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are certain so symptoms. Why is it so doctor? Because when the baby is born, so baby is uh, more close to the mother, mm -hmm. she'll be there 24 by 7 with the baby. Yes. So why these thoughts come up in her mm -hmm. mind? See during uh, the pregnancy phase there are lots of uh, hormonal changes goes mm -hmm. on within the mother Absolutely. Uh, particularly the rise in progesterone and uh, estrogen mm -hmm. so uh, once the mother delivers the baby okay. so uh, everything goes back into the normal position mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so this suffleness from okay. uh, the higher level to the lower level mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. It's a kind of biopsychosocial thing that happens. Okay, okay, okay. So the biologically, all these things are happening, and mm -hmm. at the same time, a lot time of physical changes. Yes, happen with yes, it. hormonal things, mm -hmm. and at the same time, the psychological mm -hmm. uh, things. So there might be uh, a confusion about how to deal with this new situation. Okay. Though um, uh, the mother is prepared with this, mm -hmm. but yet. It is the first time for the mother uh, experience how to handle the yeah, baby, how, how to, to take it. care of the baby. Yes, lot of questions Lots will be there, things. and at that moment only there are parents and there are uh, family who will support her yes, in every yes. look and corner. And financial of the life. factors also comes in. Absolutely. So n number of factors are there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, the social support, the social mm -hmm. connections, everything plays a role. Okay. So uh, that is why it's happening. Mm -hmm. So okay, what so what does it do to the women? Like as you mentioned that suicidal thoughts might come, like this is we are talking about the ones who are actually having mm. a lot of like a postpartum depression, yeah. it has gone apart. Mm. So that person has to immediately go and see a psychologist. What do you yeah. say, doctor? Uh, not only postpartum, it's actually term termed also as uh, perinatal depression because okay. it starts during the phase of uh, pregnancy mm -hmm. and it goes on after pregnancy. Uh, oh. It's not, not necessarily uh, for the two or uh, three weeks, mm -hmm. but it might also uh, extend till around one year, mm -hmm. even after delivering the baby. Okay. So that how sensitive it is mm -hmm. and uh, uh, like you said um, mm, uh, what uh, categories of women are at risk mm -hmm. uh, so here I would like to mention that yes uh, once the new uh, newly uh, uh, conceived uh, uh, parent mm -hmm. they uh, might at might be at risk mm -hmm. here I would also like to mention that not only uh, the postpartum depression is uh, for mother at the same time the fathers are also actually that was my next question to you actually because yeah. like both has both yes. are playing an important role in the baby's life yes so what about the father yeah mm -hmm. so father also get affected with this postpartum mm -hmm. uh, depression I would say uh, not directly because all these hormonal changes doesn't happen okay. uh, in the male person mm. but the thing is uh, while seeing the um, uh, his uh, uh, partner what? in mm -hmm. this uh, phase for a constant period of time Absolutely. the, per the um, partner also slips into this and okay. there might be um, adjustment issues mm. sleep pattern changes mm. uh, lifestyle changes financial uh, issues also pops in right. so all these factors are also responsible mm -hmm. for the male partner as well to slip into the postpartum mm -hmm. though it's not uh, uh, so severe in uh, terms of male mm -hmm. but yes if but this, there are yeah, some there are some. that affects the uh, yes. partner as well yes isn't it now if we talk about the ones uh, the ladies uh, the women who have uh, delivered a baby so if we talk about the medical conditions as well so that uh, can also be a major factor yes which will yes uh, birth complications mm -hmm. or there might be uh, various complications with the pregnancy as well mm -hmm. and uh, certain environmental factors are also responsible that the uh, mother was in during the pregnancy phase so everything plays a role mm -hmm. and if a traumatic event happens during that pregnancy phase then it might uh, also trigger all this uh, um, uh, symptoms I would say okay okay so these are also these are the basic symptoms we are talking at this point in time viewers at numbers are flashed on your television screen so if you have any questions regarding the postpartum uh, depression we are talking we have with us Dr. Mridhu Smita York so please call up and ask your question now doctor coming back to you again we had a, a minimum idea about what exactly 
Hmm. This postpartum depression is what can be the symptoms. One, uh, when is the right time to see a doctor? Hmm. So, if we talk about the environment, the person is hmm. leading to, hmm. or the baby is uh, coming up, so that is also very important. Yes. The environment is very important. Yes. What do you have to say, doctor? Hmm. Environment is of course important, hmm. uh, uh, not only uh, for the baby, for everyone as well. Um, hmm. you know, when the uh, lady who is pregnant during that phase uh, is not in a convenient uh, uh, environment, uh, in a healthy environment, definitely her mental health will get affected. Okay. And uh, at the same time, if the um, uh, pregnant lady is getting affected, hmm. obviously her uh, baby will be carrying those things. Hmm. So uh, there it's a risky situation for uh, the mother and the baby hmm. uh, uh, all together. At the same time, uh, for example, if the mother is uh, sleeping into postpartum depression after delivering the uh, mm. yes, baby, uh, probably after one year, mm. and now the baby is experiencing that kind of detachment from the mm. mother. Okay. So now the, the child might develop that. Uh, depression. Okay, okay. So that kind of detachment. That has to be taken care because yeah. uh, uh, if we talk about the environment you just mentioned, now mm. that has to be a happy environment for yes. both the mother and the child. Yeah. Now, doctor, if we uh, talk about like how to deal with these kind of situation, mm. medical profession or medically or taking medicines or having a talk with the professionals is mm. different. But mm. if we talk about the basic things which mm. can be done as well at home mm. with uh, the support of the families, mm. so that is most important so what is the priority of the family comes at this juncture mm. so if we talk about the environment uh, how to have a happy environment now mm. if a person can fix a timetable mm. if a person uh, can have a proper routine which can be helpful mm. for them mm. so maybe there might be an ease in their whatever yes, engaging the problems they are in facing. Uh, engaging in uh, the activities that the lady likes I mean mm. the pregnant lady likes mm -hmm. during that phase of course maybe uh, music yeah or if looking into the safety as well well, have a talk with yeah. someone who she loves to do. Yeah. Um, in short, uh, the uh, lady might um, needed to be um, engaged in mm -hmm. a uh, happily um, uh, fulfilled environment mm. where however it is possible by looking okay. after to her safety as well mm. uh, so we have to engage her in that things mm. and yes exercise yoga uh, uh, mindfulness mm. all this plays a good role for her okay okay doctor we'll have a more mm. discussion but right now we'll have to slip into a short break well viewers will slip into a short break but do come back soon because we have lots more on the other side Welcome back viewers, you're still watching Good Life, the health show with me Pooja and we are having a fruitful discussion with the Dr. Amrita Smitya Niyog. Well, a doctor coming back to you again. Now, if we talk about uh, what is the age group we are talking about at mm. this juncture, what mm. do you have to say on this? So, um, early pregnancy. Uh, prior the age of 25 is quite risky for uh, a lady to sleep into uh, postpartum depression and yes, teen pregnancy or if a mother uh, has uh, twins, triplets, all these uh, conditions plays a role okay. uh, in postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, early pregnancy and unplanned pregnancy can yes. also be one of the factors yeah. for this postpartum depression. Mm. Along with it, yeah, teen pregnancy also plays a role. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's quite risky for uh, teens to Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, teens to uh, get pregnant because uh, they uh, they are uh, not physically as well as psychologically prepared for that pregnancy. Okay. And that's why it's quite uh, alarming for them to sleep into this postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. And yes, uh, for one to get ready for motherhood, one has to uh, prepare herself both physically as well as mentally. So uh, all these conditions play a role. Okay. So these are the conditions which also plays an important factors mm -hmm. and also plays an important role role for a mother to go for a postpartum depression. Yes. Now, doctor, what kind of tips you would like to give our viewers hmm. who are watching our show at this hmm. point in time? Hmm. So, uh, in order to handle this uh, postpartum depression, 
I would like to mention here that they should actually uh, keep an eye about their environment in which environment they are in because a healthy environment is very essential for both the mother and the child to uh, grow healthily and uh, yes to engage in a, a happy playful activity uh, of course looking after the safety of the mother as well and uh, doing um, uh, practicing uh, this uh, sleep hygiene, mm -hmm. uh, having a good communication uh, within the family, reaching out to their friends, making social contacts. It is also important Very uh, because important. because what we see uh, during the pregnancy phase, I have seen uh, certain cases in the clinic where they uh, come to us and report that during that phase I was stuck in the home. I was not unable and to move out. And people were not allowed to meet them yeah. as well. There were yeah. a lot of like myths which myths, surface yeah. at this point in time. Because of all yeah. these things, uh, the uh, lady gets suffocated, frustrated, mm -hmm. irritated. It's always if we see medically, it's mm -hmm. also safe. Like mm -hmm. uh, there might be infections for. Yeah. Yeah. which uh, doctors also advise like as long as possible mm -hmm. you should have a less kind of less crowd kind, yeah. but it doesn't mean that you will be bound or bound, you will be yeah. like uh, inside True. a room for mm -hmm. a long time it is not possible it for anyone possible to be well. confined in a place for a longer period of time i mm -hmm. mean it's like for nine months right it's not it's impossible like we have seen us uh, during the phase of covid 19 if we are suffocated as um, mm -hmm. um, uh, as a uh, population mm -hmm. we can imagine the plight absolutely, of the mother absolutely. Mm -hmm. because she is undergoing lots of hormonal changes during that phase what is been going with them is only that person will know yes, and yes. a lot of changes happen at this juncture which only a mother will know for which uh, there are a lot of people who goes uh, for postpartum depression we had a fruitful discussion at this point in time doctor we are really short of time we have to wrap up mm. this show at this point in time thank you so much for joining thank the you, good Pooja. life the thank health you. show all right viewers with this we have come to the end of the show and we hope that we were able to answer all your queries in the best possible way and in our next episode we will be discussing on some other important health issues till then stay healthy stay fit and keep watching northeast live goodbye